Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and out-of-the-park baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I'm here with uh, really an update on my out-of-the-park Kansas City Royals season, playthrough season. We are in the first season of the playthrough, 2023. And uh, I will bring up the standings so that you can see where we are right now, standings. And we just got past the trade deadline. Presently, we are 50 and 57 and tied for last place with the Cleveland Guardians. And we're only a half a game behind Detroit for uh, the middle of the division. So... We're right there. We're hanging with the bottom two teams. <laughs> I don't know how good that really is, but that's what we're doing. Although, really, uh, we're only also five games behind the White Sox. We're in second place in the division. And, speaking of the White Sox, we did some trades with the White We did a couple of trades with the White Sox and one with the Cardinals at the trade deadline. So uh, let's go and look at those uh, right now so you can see where we are and um, we will go to the um, news. Uh-oh. There we go. And let's see here. Yeah, so here's one of the trades um, with the White Sox. We traded... Um, they traded us Kendall Graveman and 19-year-old minor league right-handed pitcher Franman Duarte in exchange for 25-year-old minor league right fielder Tucker Bradley. Now, uh, I'm sure if you follow baseball, you know Kendall Graveman. I mean, we know his upside and everything about him. And he's 32 years old. I'm not really sure why we went out and made this deal again. I'm just the manager of the team. I'm not the general manager. So I don't know why a rebuilding team wanted a 32-year-old Kendall Graveman, maybe just to uh, make this year look a little better than it could otherwise be. But let's look at some of the other guys involved in this trade. So we also got this guy, Fran, Franier Duarte. And uh, so here's, here's what he looks like. He is um, a starting pitcher. Looks like he's still um, a diamond in the rough here. He, his control isn't very good. His stuff and his movement aren't very good. He's got a good fastball, though, curveball, and changeup. So uh, he's probably a work in progress, which is fine. You know, we're a team that's uh, working towards the future. So let me go back, and we will look at uh, a couple of the other guys involved in the deals. Um and, uh, yeah, let's see here. All right, so, and um, that was uh, the guy that we got in addition to Graveman. And we traded Tucker Bradley. So let's take a look at Tucker Bradley, who is um, now on the White Sox. He's actually on the Birmingham Barons because he's in the White Sox system, not on their team. But uh, he was a right fielder. His contact is, eh, iffy. Gap power is okay. Home run power, not very good. Eye and discipline. So, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'm happy with this deal. I mean, Graveman's going to help our bullpen for the here and now. And um, the 19-year-old is a work in progress, and it doesn't look like he's any worse of a uh, trade-off as a, uh, you know, the quality of player as Tucker Bradley is. So let's go back to um, let's go back to the mail and news, and we will look at the other trade that we have uh, that we made. Trade. Let's see. White Sox. Yeah. So in this deal, uh, we uh, we got 35 year old Joe Kelly, Machine Gun Kelly. And left-handed pitcher Garrett Crochet and 22-year-old minor league right-handed pitcher Manuel Velaz. Um, and Chicago got Nate Eaton. So let's just take a look at Nate Eaton. And again, I'm not going to look at um, I'm not going to look at Joe Kelly or Garrett Crochet because those are major league players. Um, uh, certainly, out of the park may rate them differently, and they may play differently than um, 
they than they did in real life. But you basically have a, a general idea of them if you know baseball. So here's Eaton. This is the guy we gave to the White Sox. And again, it doesn't look like he's anything special. Um, yeah, there's nothing special about that guy. So uh, let's go... Let's go back and uh, see what else we've got here. Um, all right, so we received, in addition to Joe Kelly and Garrett Crochet, we got Manuel Velaz, 22-year-old guy. Now, uh, this guy, um, he looks decent. Uh, not, not very good movement or control, but the stuff, maybe there's room for the stuff to improve. And the fastball and the changeup are pretty good and looks like maybe getting better. So, I mean, this this was an all right move, too. Um, we will find out, I suppose, as, as the season goes on. Uh, let's look at... I, I guess we'll take a quick look at Crochet. Um, yeah, Crochet looks pretty good here. And he is only 24 years old, so... This is not bad. Yeah, this was a good move. This I like. Fastball, very good. Slider, good and getting better. Change up, not bad. Control could use some work, but man, everything else looking pretty good. So, yeah. So let's go back. And so, uh, so those were the deals that we made with uh, the White Sox. There is also another um, trade that we made with the Cardinals. And in this deal, we, um, we got 39-year-old relief pitcher Jesse Chavez. And we also got 22-year-old minor leaguer Cooper Herpy. And... Um, we sent them some Mod Taylor and Beck Way. So let's take a look at Herpy. Uh, yeah, Her Herpy's not bad. He's a uh, starting pitcher. Um, yeah, these these uh, the uh, you know the uh, the ratings here on him aren't too bad. Movement uh, could use some work, but everything else looks like it's progressing along. So let's go back and take a look at, um, well, we, and again, Chavez, you know what you're getting with Chavez. Um, so far he has an 1130, is that right? Let me see. Let's take a look at what he's doing right now. Yeah, he has an 11, or is it a 137? And it looks like it's, yeah, looks like it's an 1137 earned run average. And, uh, the, yeah, and the, the whip, the whip is not good. 189, so... He's having a bad year. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe the Cardinals just wanted to get rid of, get out from under that contract. Uh, morale, he's not very happy. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess that was the price of doing business and and uh, getting, um, getting herpy in the deal. But uh, we gave them some odd Taylor, so let's take, and back away. Let's take a look at some odd Taylor, see what he's like. Again, he's kind of a work in progress. Um, 25 years old, too. So he's getting kind of old to have numbers that are just pretty good. I mean, his ratings here, overall, as an entire package, he's just pretty good. Although he is speedy. He's got good speed, stealing, and base running. But um, his defensively, he leaves something to be desired and... Overall here, the basic batting ratings aren't that great. And then let's look at Beck Way. And Beck, now Beck Way is pretty good. Starting pitcher. 
23 years old, so he was, looks like he was a good prospect. They got a good deal with him. We'll, we'll see what happens with Samad Taylor, but this guy looks pretty good. We gave up something here. So, um, that's basically what we're looking at. Um, and then again, we'll go back to the standings. Um, and, you know, and, and let's take a look around here. You got the Blue Jays winning the AL East right now, which they did not come, I don't think they came very close at all to doing. Baltimore is only 53 and 53 when in real life they won 101 games or something this past season. So, uh, in the Central, we've got the Twins. The Twins are winning the Central, which is exactly what happened. They did win the Central. But, uh, you know, the rest of the division didn't really line up like this. The Guardians actually finished second. You got the Houston Astros winning the, the AL West with Seattle second. And down here at the bottom, you got the Rangers at the bottom of that division, but they ended up being the world champions. So, I don't know about that. Um, the Atlanta Braves are winning the East, which is exactly what happened. They did win the East. The Phillies are third behind the Mets. Now, the Mets had a bad season. They finished near the bottom of that division. Maybe not dead last, but near the bottom. The Phillies finished second. And in this uh, out of the park, they're 51-56. and 56. Cardinals are winning the Central, which is absolutely did not happen. They finished... Uh, probably second to last to the Pirates offhand, I'm not sure, but they weren't anywhere near the top. The Brewers, though, are tied with them and the, for the division lead, and the Brewers did end up winning the division. Uh, the Pirates are 53-52. and 52. Now, the Pirates, if you remember in the real 2023 season, they did start off pretty well, and they looked like they were going to be decent. And that, so far, is carrying through on this out-of-the-park season. It didn't carry through in real life. And Cincinnati is also looking pretty decent. And again, in real life, they did look pretty decent. The Cubs, though, are at the bottom of the division. And in real life, they missed the playoffs by one game. So that isn't really, that's not, uh, really overall, this isn't playing out the way the real baseball did. But again, this is out of the park with out of the park player ratings. San Diego, you got winning the West, which they did not do. Uh, the Dodgers are, are two and a half behind them, but the Dodgers actually won that division. So, um, and then the Diamondbacks are 57 and 50, which is probably about the pace that they're on, uh, you know, to finish the season. Um, and, and made, and barely made the play. I think they barely made the playoffs and then worked their way all the way to the World Series and lost it. But overall, this isn't really how the real 2023 season played out. But again, this is with out-of-the-park player ratings and with out-of-the-park transactions, which, um, you know, we've got a whole bunch of guys now that we didn't really, uh, that the Royals didn't really have. We have Ben Gamel now. We have Gra Graveman. We have uh, Machine Gun Joe Kelly, Garrett Crochet. We didn't have any of those guys. Now, it's going to be nice to have them going forward, and uh, that might bode well for our team being better. And really, we were in the bottom of the division this entire out-of-the-park season up until now, and now we're tied for the bottom of the division, and we're only a half game behind the Tigers. So I like our chances going forward. I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, what the how the trade deadline went, and... Um, we are going to embark on a uh, game uh, against the New York Mets coming up, and uh, we'll see how that goes. They're 58 and 48 in this season. Um, so we'll see what the next game is. I'm probably the next game I put up is on the channel is probably not going to be against the Mets. But we'll see uh, maybe a game near the end of the season or maybe I'll go right to the off season because we have played 107 games of this season. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but I wanted to give you a trade deadline update for the Kansas City Royals and where we are currently at game 107 of the season. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.